So good morning, everybody. As always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Uh, my name is Rich. I'm the channel host. And I always say, normally we're talking about some kind of drone-related topics or building our drone businesses. And today is no exception. I wanted to talk about a project now that I have been doing for just about three years. As of October 2022, we began documenting a new residential uh, community in the Prescott Lakes area called Solstice Ridge 2. Now, I met the, uh, the principals of this build out right at the start of the entire, uh, of the entire project. And they were looking to document what has changed on their build site for the past three years. So as new buildings are coming in, uh, we were documenting that. We were out basically every two weeks for the clients. And in total, we did over 70 flights plus some additional work for them as we moved along. And it all started with that first interest of our progression reporting reports that we do. So the custom web pages that we build with WordPress, um, we were sharing these with the clients and the clients were using them to not only track the uh, construction, but also to help investors see what they'd be getting if they did get into this project. So I'm just going to click on the Solstice project. This is my uh, seemybuild.com site where I can share some of my clients' information. And we only pop up the stuff where clients are, are willing to allow, you know, to allow us to share this with the world. So we do have other clients that we've done this work with as well that you're never going to see on channel because they requested that that was private and that that was their specific data. So there you go. All right. So let's take a look at this because literally it's been three years. It was pretty exciting when I uh, was first contacted about this. And this project has led into other projects for me as well, um, including other projects that some of the principals on this one were involved with. So we started this out, you know, imperfect and we let the site grow and the pages grow as the clients gave their requests for what they wanted and what they didn't want. But so we started this out with project visits at uh, 2023. Um, but actually, we had a couple of earlier videos, as you can see on here, October 4th, 2022, November 17th of 2022. So we had a couple where they were just starting to mark everything out. And we were also setting up our flight patterns for our repeated flights for doing before and after, doing the models, uh, doing the ortho mosaics, doing the videos. So we had to block things out as well because what we had to work with at first was this. Let's go ahead and click onto it really quick. So just setting up for our style and what we wanted to do for those clients. So what went into their reports? What went into the reports here went into their reports for the next three years. So first we did some setup flights where you can see the uh, actual getting ready for the foundation. So we've got the Solstice Ridge. And at the time that we did this, the uh, realtors involved also wanted to uh, pop into this here and there. But we started doing these flights where site 42, 43, 44, as they were coming in, we were setting up these time-lapse uh, uh, time-lapse flights for the clients so that each time we went back over the past three years, we could match things up with previous flights. So these were a little special since they were in 2022 and we were still just setting things up. So we had a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of different layouts that we actually worked. But let's go ahead and stop here and scroll on down because we also did ortho mosaics for them. We didn't do digital elevation models. They didn't have a need for those, but we did set up a demo just so that they could see what, what they were getting. Of course, with Sketchfab, we could do the 3D model and embed uh, the models into Sketchfab and then into um, these reports that we did. And also still images as well so that we could show people the layouts, you know, the potential layouts of some of these things. So, and none of this, we always make sure to let the clients know, none of, none of this was survey grade. But then we started getting into January 2023, and we're not going to belabor this and, you know, beat this to death, but just to um, just to share one of these again. So all of these are archived for our clients as well. So they have access to the archives. They have access to the original data, all of the flight data, all of the images, all of the video. 
and this was us just getting started on one of our flight paths that we've used through about almost the entire project at this point in time um, so things kept changing you know things kept growing and the uh, clients got these usually two days after we do the flight um, we'd come back to the studio and then we would do all the prep and all the post processing for the videos for the stills for the models you get the idea and as we were building this out for the clients there we go we've got our before and afters that come along with us um, after that and getting those just aligned right. We had some problems with the bottom of it. I think I had to cut that flight just a little short, but you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and arrow back here. So just looking at this, the, the actual start, we'll call it January, just the start of January. But those first four flights, were getting us our ideas of how we wanted to set things up. So there is a lot of planning that goes on in the background, but once you've got your patterns, once you've got your autonomous flights the way you want them, things do speed up, at least in the field. In the office, it still takes us several hours to get everything assembled for the customers. So as we were developing this and doing this, and you can see the small changes in each of these, April, May, June, um, we're actually seeing things come together rather quickly. And so we get ourselves all the way down to the end of 2023, where I did one called Completed, um, just for, you know, completed for 2023. And, you know, we've had just so much that went on with the build out there. And this was the October of 2023, not 2022. So you can see that there is a lot now. Um, a lot of buildings already coming up. Um, actually, some of the buildings were already uh, getting contracts signed. So people were already getting ready to move to some of the newer buildings as they were coming online. So one of the big things that I heard from the clients on this, um, so everyone, the construction market is not saturated yet. Um, I know I've seen a couple people talking about, you know, it being saturated and a lot of people talking about, no, the, there's still room to do a lot more. And I totally agree. There is still room to do a lot more. In my talks with my customers, I was informed on several occasions that, you know, they use these presentations um, when they're working with new investors or bringing new people online. And I was told point blank directly multiple times our presentations made the difference in having a new investor come on board after seeing all the things that they were doing on the sites, that they were staying, you know, on, on target for timelines, that everything was coming together right, that there were no major issues going on. So these reports that we do um, made a huge difference and brought new investors to other projects as well, other projects that we're working with now. So not only did we have all these great flights for these customers, but we started building uh, a larger set of um, you know different types of projects that we can do. Now, once again, this was not um, this was not survey accurate. It didn't need to be. It needed to be visually aligned so that you know we didn't have broken things in places, and we did not. So I'm going to just go ahead and arrow back here, and let's go and take a look. So that was. And the 2023, we get into 2024 and take a look at this. We have so many changes over time. The flights came across really nicely. So, you know, let's just, um, let's take a look here. Let's have a little fun and we'll click onto one other. And so we always uh, made sure to let people know which stage of the project they're getting, the date, um, and then the video. So, the big one for this particular client was the videos. And also, I just want to say, so we know that a lot of builders out there are utilizing drone operators, but a lot of builders out there don't know what we can offer them. The guys that I started out doing this with as I started doing these custom development pages, they said they'd never seen anything like it. And they really loved how we set these things up for them. And, um, you know, regularly we'd also meet up with them on the site uh, so they could see what was uh, going on out there at the time. But um, so I can't stress this enough. This particular build group who does builds in other states as well and does larger communities and smaller communities had never seen a layout or a presentation like this um, from the air. 
So this was completely new to them. So, you know, when you're thinking, oh, I'm worried that, um, you know, there's there's no more room in construction. The small and medium groups out there don't even know all the things we can do and what we can bring to them. I mean, we assisted with, uh, there's a couple issues that they had over time. Um, we assisted with one issue that uh, just cracked me up. We did some flights um, for, their, uh, for their community and a neighboring community had some complaints on based on um, their HOA rules that, you know, uh, my clients weren't necessarily part of that particular HOA. They were part of a different one. But um, so we did some flights for them to show a couple things that were hot topics between them and, and another community and helped get those things squared away. So, you know, it's more than just pretty pictures. It's more than cool sliders. It's more than 3D models. In the end, this is a total presentation showcasing the builder's abilities, the subcontractor's abilities, the abilities of the realtors who are working on this project as well. I mean, I think we're down to four homes remaining um, for this particular one. And when this is wrapped up, we've already got another one that we're looking into um, with some of these folks who were behind this particular project. So we're going to be seeing more flights because of this. And once again, as I've said, I've gotten uh, I've gotten a lot of feedback that people have never seen anything like this. So the higher end stuff, yeah, they're already aware of us. But the um, you know the mid sized uh, construction groups, general contractors, etc they still don't know all the things we can do. So I would suggest to you as you're getting into your new projects to make sure to share with the potential clients, even if they say, we're not really interested in 360s or we're not really interested in uh, maps and models, give them a showcase, show them what they could get, do a little bit of extra legwork upfront and you can start getting these types of projects. They're out there. There's multiple ones here in Prescott, Arizona alone. And there are more if you're down in the Phoenix area, the Tucson area. There are a lot of opportunities because I have been contacted by different groups um, outside of the greater Prescott area. And, you know, I'm still getting uh, all of my mobility back for long rides. So, so we've taken passes on those types of jobs because we already have some here. So, I just wanted to bring you up to speed. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I wanted to, to see part of what we do. So you've seen this over and over again on my YouTube, on my classes, um, on our uh, on our Patreon uh, discussions as well. So, you know, this could be repetitive to you, but I really want to drill at home. There are a lot of opportunities. Don't think for a minute there aren't. There aren't. Oh, I can talk today. Um, and you need to start looking for those new build communities, looking for those new commercial construction, get some flights in, get some demos together, make a presentation um, for those builders, like the types that we're doing or the types that you could dream up on your own. So before I wrap this up, I will say, so we actually have uh, more of this uh, on our class site, so classes.azdrone.net and We've transferred to our new platform for that, so it should be ready and operational if you decide you have an interest in some of our courses. Um, and, you know, what went into this one was, you know, the uh, the autonomous flights, all of that pre-planning, executing the flights, um, completing the project files, and then sharing a final, uh, you know, a final installment for them. And similar things can be done with other tools. Maybe uh, maybe your guys want a lot of video like mine did, or maybe all they care about is just a 3D model or a more uh, mosaic. Whatever it is, you know, have that in your in your toolkit. And these pages, by the way, we have another class on building custom web pages um, for drone operators. And we've had a lot of people signing up to that one uh, recently. And we've got a lot of people that I talk with who are actually using that program um, to also give their deliverables to their clients. So there we go. I'm sorry if this one ran a little long, but I did want to say, you know, we're coming to the close of a very, uh, very good project uh, for us and for our customers. And it's going to be sad to, to um, come up soon that we're not going to be flying the site anymore. We're going to be flying the site this weekend. But, um, you know, I'm looking ahead. I'm looking at where they're at with the build out. 
I can see a couple of more flights probably coming in for them, but uh, I'm just waiting for that moment when they say, okay, it's a wrap. Maybe it'll go right through December and, you know, make our full three years on this. Well, thanks for taking the time for hanging out and checking out what we're doing. And, you know, if you have an interest in this, please be sure to like and subscribe, drop a comment, pop over to our Patreon channel, um, pop over to our class channel and take a look at all the things we do. I've got a you know, whole course series that is actually covering this particular project as well. So if you wanted to see all the things that went into it and the tools that went into it, that's a great project to take a look at. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great rest of the week and I'll look forward to seeing you again probably starting next week. See you then.